Hey Stampers, it's Gaina again and again I have fallen in madly and deeply in love with the stamp set <laughs> and I'm enough to, I cannot get enough of this stamp set, it is absolutely gorgeous, just I love them, I love, I just love it, love the sentiment and I've been having a play so I'm going to show you my card and then we're going to crack on. Oh, can I just have a quick shout out to Marlene and Bob, uh, Crafty Sue, if you're watching, and Adrienne Allard. Uh, we still haven't found or been able to get in touch with you about your addresses for your thank you cards. So if you could please, please, please. So Bob and Marlene, Crafty Sue, the Scottish, the Scottish crafter, and Adrienne Adriana or something, Allard, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. If you could send me an inbox with your email, if uh, your address is on, that would be fantastic. Thank you for that. Right, my card, I've got a bit having a play and, oh, I haven't stamped the back. Look at me, naughty girl. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've been working with a bit of vellum because um, I like a bit of vellum and a bit of heat setting. So I'm going to do a bit of an all-rounder for this. This is going in the box for the next event. So let me just show you this card. <gasps> Look! Look at that. How beautiful. And I didn't have any little... I did have some sequins, but I didn't have something tiny, tiny. And so I added glossy accents. Let me hold that up for you. And then added dazzling diamonds before they set. Isn't that gorgeous? Just so many embellishments you're going to have now with me with those glossy accents and some glitter even uh, absolutely stunning look so i've heat set all my f leaves in white embossing powder onto vellum heat embossed my sentiment with much love and thanks with white embossing powder and i've just taken these leaves here and used silver for those uh, gold sorry I suppose you could use silver. Isn't that beautiful? I love this card. I just love this set. So some of them have been stuck down, stuck down. These have been a, a double layered so they can have a bit more height. So they're not so flat. And then these are just popped up on dimensionals. And then I've added some beautiful thread. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous card. So let's get on with some stamping as we do you're going to need a piece of black which this piece is way too wide but it's about I think you're going to need it about four inches long for the sentiment I'll just measure this one and then I want to cut it down because I, I don't need I don't want too big of a band I would have liked a smaller sentiment but oh that's actually about three and a half so and then this is by about three quarters thick. So I'm going to chop this down. I've got my heat tool plugged in ready. So this is going to be three quarters. So I wish I could get it all on that. So let me just see. So the thinner the border, the better. I am pushing it then. Actually, that might work, actually, if I stamp it properly. So let's try on that piece. If not, it's going to be this one, which is three quarters. Actually, that's more than three quarters, actually. Oh, let's see what we're doing. So that's half inch the black is. That is three quarters. That's better. That's better. That's three quarters now. So I'm going to stamp on this piece first. But more importantly enough, embossing buddy. Oh my God, this is your favourite pal. And I'm just whacking it with the powder. Rubbing it in. We can always wipe off the excess, excess later. Fetching in my gorgeous sentiment. And this, 
and we're just going to heat set this with some Versamark first and then we're going to have some white embossing powder. So I'm going to stick, try and keep this all in one. Lovely. Oh, and it's all in. Oh, but it's, it might it might be on the wonk actually, so I might have to trim it down a bit more. There's a space for a bit of trimming. So let me just get my white powder. Grab the end. Whoops. Oh, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Actually, that's quite straight. I think my paper might be on the wonk. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop this to one side just for a moment and heat set this, because I wanna let it dry. Sorry about the noise. It doesn't take long to turn. There we have it. Oh, I love it. Beautiful sentiment. I can perhaps trim that a little bit. We're going to be taking it off to here and here anyway. Let's grab some scissors because I just want the sentiment showing. Nip that down there. I think that's perfect actually. Mind you, I don't know, it's a bit wonky. Sentiment is straight. That is now five eighths by three and th uh, three eighths. But yeah, look, it's slightly over a little bit. So I could trim that down, but which way would I do it? I'm going to leave it actually, it's not that noticeable. So there's my sentiment for later. Get rid of these bits. Oh, I love that, absolutely adore that, it's beautiful. So now I'm fetching in a piece of vellum. I have done some heat embossing already and I'm going to die cut with my little machine. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fetch in, there they are, <laughs> Tink. one, two, three. I did use the flower and cut them out, but I didn't end up using them. Um, I think they're a bit too solid for all that embossing powder, so I'm not going to use the, the little flower, because I've got loads cut out anyway. But I'm just going to get a reverse the mark off there. So, I love this. I love heat emboss. I don't do it often enough. You don't very rarely see me heat emboss. And which is a shame, really, because with producing cards like that, they're absolutely stunning. Making sure this is really juicy. And I got a little trip, a uh, trip, a little tip if it doesn't stamp prop fully. Oh, wait there now. He embossing body first. And if you get any left on your desk, use your embossing body to scrape it back into your t container and gets it all off your paper. Because I can't stand that feeling of sand. So I'm going to let that soak in a minute. And I'm going to be doing one at a time. Not heat emboss, heat emboss. I'm going to... No, I better not. I'm gonna, I was going to do it all at the same time. At one at a time but I'm not going to so I'm going to use this beautiful leaf as well and I can see thankfully where the image is that's turned out lovely and now for the I love this leaf I just love it so I'm getting juiced up really well I may have to add some more re-ink it on there. 
and I can see my images. Perfect. So pop the lid on those a minute. Fetch my powder in again. And I love stamping up spellum. It's just the best quality ever. Just gonna make sure I got plenty on there. Away and I don't know it's going to be loud again. I do apologise for a moment just while I set these, but my least my gun is nice and hot. And you can see this changing as it's, uh, it warms up. There we go. Oh, that's turned out beautiful. But I do have some little gaps where this ink didn't touch or it didn't get any. Uh, don't worry about that. We're going to die cut these out in a moment. The trip, a trick for that is I have got a Versamark pen. So I'm just going to let this cool. Dry this. And if you just go over those areas with the Versamark pen. touch up where it didn't fill in and then just dip it back in quickly and it will fill those gaps back in I can see the powder is now attached to that but I think I had mine from Hobbycraft or the range Now, if you look, it's filled in those gaps. No more gaps. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. I'll show you an example of a something stamped poorly. And then what you can do with this Versamark. So I'll stamp this one more time. And I'll just do it quick. Right? Now in my luck, it'll be a perfect one. <laughs> so what not to do and what to do... Sorry, I should have kept the lid off this container. Because it's on the end. And I can see I've let, I'll, sh I'll heat emboss this first. Now see, I've got gaps here, here and here. They're not meant to be there. So this is where this little Versamark pen comes in handy. So just go back over those areas, dotting them in with more Versamark. Dip. And I can see that it's filled those gaps. So watch now. And there we have it. It's filled those gaps in and they've gone. There's a couple more there, but I'm, I'm just, just showing you the example. So it's well worth getting yourself a Versamark pen. I think, no, I tell a lie, I had these off eBay and I was set at three, I think it was about six pound. So, but well worth it because with vellum as well, you can't always see. On cardstock you can, but on vellum you can't see the bits you've missed. So, 
this pen is beautiful and it's thick one end and it's fine tip the other so if you've got beautiful handwriting you could write your message and then add embossing powder and have your own handwriting embossed in whatever colour you want it. So there's my little tip on that. Here's my card base. It's just a thick whisper white folded in half and we're going to score this. It's been scored at four and one eighth and I'm just going to burnish the card. I'm having no layers. I'm just wanting to go straight onto this back, uh, the card front itself. So that is stamped ready. I'm going to pop these to one side. Get rid of those. And pop my little bag away. Oh, I love this thing. So, and also I've got my Dazzling Diamonds out ready. I'm going to need to slice this paper up because my little machine only does two and a half inches. So I can cut them out in front of you. And I'm going to cut this one out just in case we need it for something. So I've got my Sorry about the noise. I've got my dies. They put them back in the box. I like to keep things safe. So we need this one, this one, and this one. One, two, three. There. You've also got the inserts here and this beautiful framework. If you want, I use this one to die cut these out in gold. And then I did another one with sticky back. So I could glue the two together and then we're going to stick them down there. I'll show you what I did with those in a moment. So let me get to my little machine. I love this machine. I've got two cutting plates. And I'm going to, I'm going to be die cutting these out for you. So let's get this one on first. Line this up. I may need a little bit of washi tape just to keep them together and pop that out of the way. Don't need my heat tool anymore. So I'm just using a tiny little bit of washi when I can find the end. Okay, it's not that way. There it is. So I'm only using a little bit, it's just to keep that die in place and don't want it slipping because I'm not using the magnetic plate. Just keep that in place. And then I can run it through. And as you can hear it cracking, that is the, the actual die going through the vellum. There's that one gorgeous leaf, just beautiful. So there's one. And I can pop these back as we go. That's funny so I don't lose them because I'm terrible. <laughs> so let's get this gorge. I love these leaves, they're just so beautiful. Do you know when you see a stamp set and you think oh I love that I've got to have that uh, this is my new favorite stamp set <laughs> I have used it a few times now on a few different cards I think I've done more than five cards now with this set so but there's so many different uses so many different styles look at that beautiful leaf cut out perfectly so I'm going to do the other one as well. Why not? We have it. And I think you can pick these up for about 25, 30 pounds. And you can only cut two and a half inches wide with it. But uh, for small things like this, it's just amazing. And the lovely Debs 
show me a picture. Her boyfriend has treated her to her dye cutting machine, her big shot, for her early birthday present. Her birthday's October. My birthday's October as well, sweetness. So there we go, we've got something in common as well, our birthdays. So I'm going to stick this last one down for this leaf. Just love it. And there we have our fourth leaf. I must admit, I do love die cutting with stamping up dies. They are just divine. There we go. I'm going to keep that little bit of tape on there. So I can pop this away. In my little drawer, it fits in my bottom drawer perfectly. So now we've got the, the makings of these wonderful leaves. They do curl up, but I suppose you can curl them back. But it's going to be getting glued flat, so yes, that's gone pretty flat again. It's just that it's had a lot of heat on there. Just beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. These are going to be up on dimensionals. But I'm just flattening them all out. I do have a couple of spare ones here. Which, as they say, there's one I did earlier. <laughs> and I've got some more of these. They're going to be laid flat. So I think I used three of those. I used two of those and two of those and I've got one here it's got a little bit of white on it but this little section is going to be tucked under another leaf so there are your leaves I've got two of the gold ones and I've double backed those like I say I just what I did with this I put some of the sticky backed two-way tape onto a piece of card Run it through the dye machine, cut this out, and there's a leaf missing as you noticed. But it's just to add, it's to make these a little bit thicker in dimension so they're not so flat. So there's flat, and then there's these slightly bigger depth ones, and I'm just lining them up. I am going to have to glue them down when I put them down because I didn't put sticky on the back as well. And I wish I had now. I I'm just lining the leaves up. And they've got like that white background, which I don't mind at all because it just gives dimension because these have got, they all now are thicker than them. So you've got height, you've got a bit, a bit more height. So you've got three stages to this card. So, oh my gosh, this is the best bit. I'm gonna pop dimensionals on the back of these. And I'm only going to be using the mini ones. I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut a line of half size ones. So I'm going to be using those as well. But yes, your dimensionals can be cut up. Flat, flat, flat. These are going to be glued down but they've got a little bit more height, like I'm saying. Grab my pierce tool and um, because we've got to go in between the leaves there are certain sections that will take a whole dimensional, whole mini one at like that. Um, one at the top will and I think this one will as well, oh no, no I need a small one and I'm doing every other leaf so I'm just doing every other leaf. I wanted a flat one on there, but you yeah, just take your scissors, cut them in half. They are marvellous. And if you get any really thin ones like this on the other side, because they're not quite in half, that one will fit on the stem. So use your fatter ones for the leaves. I may have a little bit too many on there. 
pots, but that's fine. So we've got a little, and one of these leaves is going to have the back stem cut off. So only add it to two, otherwise you're going to have so much bulk on your card, and it'd be a little bit too much. So I'm going to use my dimensionals, the half ones for this. Let's see if that one cut in half. No, it didn't, but it'll go down there. But your little half one's fabulous for jobs like this. I'm not going to add so many on this one. That's turned around. That doesn't need to turn around. Thank you. Stay with that. And I'm just going to add one there. I'm going to add a large one at the top. Half one on there. And I can get away with a large one down here. For some reason, that one is wider than that, I think. I may just be able to squeeze that one on. Yeah, just. You don't want anything poking out. And I've only got a little bit of half a one there left. I'm going to pop that on there. I, put, I, went, I just went over the top with the first one. <laughs> so now we've prepped all our bits. I'm going to grab my scissors actually and I'm going to take that tail off this one. So you don't need that little bit. Right, in with our card. Oh my word. Oh, I'm loving this. So these, I'm going to lay this one flat and this one flat. And they're going to get glued right down on top of each other like that, flat. And then we're going to build from there. So you're going to need some Tombow. And do it the back of the vellum, uh, the heat embossing. That way it won't see through. down the stem. I do find it kills it up a little bit. So I'm going to point this one upwards and this one then is going downwards. Just taking a line of glue all the way up the centre and then down each of the leaves. And you won't see it behind the, the white heat embossing. Oh, I bet these look beautiful in gold and silver as well as gold. And as well as the white even. Or you could just stamp your image. I went a bit that way and this way with these. That's better. Whoops, don't move now. Come on. Oh, and to stop that stickiness if you if ever your die moves and you've already got a bit of glue on it so you end up with a bit of tack on your card they reckon if you dust it with your embossing buddy it stops it from being sticky and it'll help you to press that down as well so there's another little tip for you So now that is smooth. Oh my god, beautiful! Right, we're going to glue these as well. And this is where this is going to come in. This one, I stuck this one up here right next to this leaf here. It's never going to be exactly the same. But, and this one is coming down here. I think it might be a little bit wide actually. Scoop that back up there a bit more. Grab my buddy again because I've moved it. And that does take the stickiness off. Isn't that fabulous? 
So there's my bits now. I'm going to lay in these just over each other. So it looks like that's the shadow. So they're going to get glued down there. And this one's going to get glued down here. And then this one is coming across like the centre bit there. So that's how that layer's going on. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. So a nice steady hand with this one. Because we haven't got so much showing now because that is heat embossed, it's spread wider. Just add a little bit of glue, just for it to get tacked down. I wish I'd had added double sided tick sticky tape on both sides of the card, but it was hard enough to stick it down as it was. So just off in it, off center in it again. I think this card is absolutely stunning. I hope you both, uh, both. I hope you all feel the same way. Because I just think it's divine. I'm going to add this into the demonstrator's web page and see what they think. I haven't done that for a while. So this one is going over this way. You're not going to see this centerpiece, so don't worry about that. Again, I'm going to grab my buddy because I can press this down. You should see what I mean about height. It's a little bit higher. This is really flat. This has got a bit more dimension. This one looks like it's been heat embossed on the actual page, which I suppose I could have done to stop it from being so bulky. So last but no means least, this gorgeous one here. I just love gold and white and, and I bet this would look gorgeous in silver and white. And I bet it would look gorgeous as a Christmas card with a circular reef at the back. That would be beautiful. See, but even though it wasn't meant to be a Christmas stamp set, because of the leaves, I think they can represent quite a lot of stuff. So now I need to overlap this quite a bit now. So you could always take some bulk off, but because my next lot of items are going on dimensions, that won't be too bad. So that's taken all the stickiness, that little body, off my Tombow glue. So, I'm going to pop that away. I've got this gorgeous gold thread. Love it. And I want the one with the most dimensionals on. I'm going to remove the backings. Squash that down. That's it. It's my little pot. Love this. The only thing is you've got to pull all the backings off these lovely little dimensionals as well once they're on. There we go. So I'm just going to wrap this around my hand about five times. Quite loose. One, two, three, four and five. slipped off so I need to get the end and I'm just going to lay this across this stamp at uh, this leaf making sure it touches in areas so it doesn't I want to make sure the ends are touching one of the I can grab it, delicate little things, turn it into one of the dimensions so it doesn't loosely come off the edge. So there's one more, there's another end there, but this is going on the last leaf. Oh my gosh, I can't, I cannot get hold of that last little one. So. I 
it gone now? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's slipped out again. There it is. There we go, I got it. So you don't want your ends poking out the side, so I'm just going to set that to one side. I am loving this. So it's a matter of peel and stick and peel and stick. Love my little pot, so cute. Whoops, if that come off. Yep, and then I'm gonna be setting this just here. Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? This one is the one without the tail. I should have cut that one off with the tail, really. Oops, my little dimensional backings are just flying everywhere. I found the one stuck on the end of the dog's nose the other day. He'd come running in. <laughs> Bless his little soul. So this one is going this way. Oh, I know, I've got that right. I have got that right. And I've popped that where. And then for this last one, it's going just here. Yeah, I'm going to cut that tail off again on that one and carefully peel it off because it's got my gold thread on. So yeah, you don't really need, isn't that beautiful, coming on gorgeous. If you want to wrap this a bit more, you can just manipulate it however. I don't think it needs it. Oh my gosh, we're nearly done. And I'm going to grab two more dimensionals. No, I'm not. I'm going to use this end strip here. Mind you, I only need it. At the out, I need them on the outer ends. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck all around with dimensionals now. There we go. So I. I popped my dimensionals on the outsides because there's a fair bit going on. I need to hide that end but oh and I'm gonna fetch my tea ruler into this. Oh my gosh this is a lifesaver this thing. So get my card straight at the bottom and then pull this up. And then lay down. Oops. Is that through the centre? Oh my gosh, can I peel that back up? Because it's on vellum. It's a god it's a lifesaver. It's a godsend, I was just about to say. I want that through the centre. So that is the centre of my card. So I need it to be in there. So if I come down two squares and then hold that against. And then press that into place. Oh, there we have it. Oh my word. How beautiful is that? I love that card. Oh, now, what I did was with my glossy accents, I did pop my piercing tool in there to widen it slightly. So I don't need to. Uh, so I'm just. You can have it as big as you want, as small as you want. I'm just adding three little dots here, there and everywhere. Small ones, big ones. And then I'm just going to dot you elsewhere. Oh, 
Oh my word, how pretty is that? I've made a bit of a booby with that one. So what I'm going to do is grab my pierce tool and just remove that. So I'm fetching in my dazzling diamonds. I only bought one pot of these. And they've lasted me for about two years. So again, it's something else you don't normally see me do a lot of. So I'm going to start going out my comfort zone and doing extras. So I'm just doing it a few at a time so I don't put my fingers in any of them. And you don't put your fingers in, but look what it's done. It's added a sparkle to all those little... They will set beautifully. And if you've got a paintbrush, you can get rid of the excess. If you see any bits floating around and you don't want them on there. Keep the sparkle where it's meant to sparkle. Oh, I love that. Absolutely love it. sticking up a little bit so I hope you like that I think that is absolutely gorgeous and it's just adding enough sparkle to that card without it taking it away from look at that now I spilt all that let me just get this to the edge brush it all back in with my little brush waste not want that <laughs> So we do be done heat embossing, we've done some gold foil. Um, oh, I just love it. We've got some sparkle on there. Oh, I love it. Absolutely beautiful. So there's the one we've just done together. This is the one I did earlier. Absolutely love them both so much. Aren't they just the cutest? <gasps> They're just so pretty absolutely gorgeous i hope you give them a go and if you do please post me your pictures and i just experimented with the glossy accents i just squirted some on this piece of vellum laced them in dazzling diamonds and look at the sparkle it gives you these are now set so you could basically you could either cut them out or peel them back best do it on a piece of grease proof paper or lay down some glue dots and then squirt on and add uh, dimensionals and then it'll peel off, they would. Or use acetate, but uh, I'm just wondering if they will come off. Whoops, well it did come off. I wonder if you could glue them on after you've made some. Look at that. I've got a blister on my hand. Yes, they do come off. They're cute. But better to do it just straight onto your work. And then just leave that to dry now. It doesn't take long because they're only small dots. But yeah, do invest in a Versamark pen as well. Absolutely fabulous. For those uh, areas where you may have left a little spot so you don't have to keep re-inking and re-inking and or going over and over and over just in case you uh, just got that tiny one little hole to fill and then you can there you go my little pot's empty oh I've got OCD so I clean everything so I hope you like I hope you give me a thumbs up and uh, a share and if you want to press the subscribe button here that would be fantastic and if you want to see what I make tomorrow, press the little bell in the corner and that will notify you of all future videos. So, I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Please, I do hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Until next time, bye.